Today, we're going to show you how to sync your Airtable users and your software users so that you can control who has access to what inside of your software application. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a software implementation partner. If you haven't signed up for software yet, you can do so with the affiliate link in the description below. I'm inside of Airtable, and for many of you, you've already had Airtable bases set up in the past. So oftentimes when we're doing these videos, we're talking about, oh, starting from a brand new template. But in your case, if you already have data that you're pulling from, you can actually incorporate this already into software. You don't have to always start from a template. So when we're looking in Airtable here, you presumably have a table of contacts or users. These could be prospects or clients. They could be your contractors or employees, people that you want to have access to Airtable data, but inside of your software application. And so there's some fields that are going to be required in order to sync these together but you can also have a number of different custom fields that you can have either just to keep track of these individuals and their information about them, or so that you can segment them differently when they're users inside of software. Let's quickly spin up a brand new application. We're just gonna do this one from scratch. We'll choose Airtable as our data source, and we'll use the newer personal access token method. We'll click here, which is going to give us access and You'll want to create a new one. I'm using one for a demo, so I'll just regenerate a token. Now let me insert that token here, and then we'll go ahead and create our application. So this will set us up for with some basic pages and blocks and things that we might want to use. So we have a very vanilla application here that we can tailor the way that we need to, but we're focused on the users. So I'll click on the users and we'll say, let's sync that with a data source. Now we already have that personal access token. So here is where I can select my base that we're pulling from. And then we know that we're syncing with those contacts, which we showed here on the other screen. So I'll select contacts. And then we can do a little bit of mapping here. So these are the user fields that are important to softer, but remember you can have those additional Airtable fields as well, uh, but we don't need to necessarily map them as part of this user process. So we'll choose our email our name field, which is our primary field in this case. We have a profile photo. We did add a magic link. Now this is just a text field, so you can quickly add a new text field in here for that magic link piece of cake. We can have a created date uh, as well as a last seen date. And then we can have our default authentication mechanism. So we can either have it just generate a random password or you can also generate this magic link which is super slick. It gives them a unique ID and a unique URL that they can click on and it just authenticates them. So we'll show an example with that. Let's do the magic link by default and we will click to save and sync. Now in a second here, we can see that this sync is completed and we can click to refresh that table. And now all of these users are automatically synced from what we have inside of Airtable. And we sync this as a first step, but this is something that's automatically kept up to date when we open up the users page or when people log in. When we have different actions that are going to automatically trigger this bi-directional sync between the two systems. So what happens if you want to add a new user? Well, you could do this either inside of the software interface or you could do it inside of Airtable. And because it's got that bi-directional sync, it's going to work out either way. But here we can add a new user inside of software, plug in their name and email address, and in this case, let's generate that magic link. Let's add a user. And now we could choose to send out a notification to that user by manually clicking that button. So we could invite them and that's going to send an email to make it easy for that person to be able to access it. But as we do that, you can't help but notice and think, well, we have to do that manually. What if we're adding tons of users in bulk at scale? And so we have a number of different ways to manage that. So one is if you're using SSO and you're using the API, you've got the ability to create that user inside a software programmatically. And I'll show you an example real quick. If you don't want to use the API directly, you can use Make or Zapier to be able to create a new software user. So let's say you've got an e-commerce storefront, you're powering it with WooCommerce, and every single time a new order is placed or a new customer is created, you're going to use that information and create a new software user programmatically. That's a perfect use case of what you could be doing inside of a tool like Make. And then because of the bi-directional sync, that user from software is also going to get added to Airtable automatically. But what if we were to create that user first inside of Airtable and then they sync over to software? Well, when they sync to software, it's going to create that magic link. But as you saw in the first step, we manually sent an email to the customer to give them access via that magic link. It wasn't an automated process. So one of the cool parts is tapping into Airtable's automations. 
And I created a send softer magic link to say, hey, when we get that information synced back from softer, when that magic link now has a value, it's no longer empty. And we'll use that as a trigger to send a new email. So we'll tap into their email address and we'll give them the link to that magic link. So when that fires, it's actually going to send it and we can have that automated process rather than you having to go back into softer. And now you had five new users get added last night and go and click the button five times to be able to send it to them. Then when we get that email, we've got the ability to click that link and check out how slick this is. It's going to take us into our application automatically authenticated as that user who received the email. Harness the power of Airtable and Softer. You can get started with Softer for free by clicking on the link in the description below.